All right, let's talk about those trending topics because Jeffrey Tubin, if you don't know who he is, this prestigious analyst uh, for law for the New Yorker. So we all know what New Yorker is, right? Prestigious. So apparently he's been suspended for exposing himself on a Zoom call. That is right. His coworkers have said that Tubin was rubbing and tugging on the Zoom call. Now, ladies, <laughs> will he ever live this down? <laughs> Well, uh, Lisa on Twitter wrote, there's something wrong with a man that can't control himself during a work call. Honest to God, I'm so sick of this behavior from by men. Perhaps it's the PDST from my online dating days, but this causes me rage. And Lisa, I actually can understand that rage. The, the first night I moved to, to Florence, Italy, the birthplace of the Renaissance, the first night I'm there, I'm walking back to my apartment after this magical day. I can hear the Santa Croce bells ringing. And there's a man outside my apartment door having a tug. And I was so angry. I was so filled with rage. But with Jeffrey Tubin, it's I've been a longtime reader of him. And this guy who's made a, a career, ironically perhaps, by writing about people misbehaving, this was like finding out for me that David Attenborough had been caught big game hunting. Like it just didn't connect. The action didn't connect with the person. And I was so surprised. But maybe we, we shouldn't be anymore. Maybe, which is kind of sad. I guess we all do it. But at the same time, I'm surprised that we're nine months into this pandemic and he still doesn't know how to use Zoom. <laughs> I mean, Lainey, last week you were talking about how you wanted like a more interesting midlife crisis. Perhaps this was your wish granted. I don't know. I just have so many questions. I just like, did he plan this? Was he just really bored? Is this a regular thing? And this is the first time he was caught. I also happen to wonder, is this a Pavlovian response? Like, is he somebody who regularly engages with sort of online um, self-exploration? And so as soon as like there's a chat window open, it's just like that there's a kind of immediate physical response. I'm just, again, I'm curious. Owen on Facebook has a different take. He said maybe um, he wanted to get caught on some strange level. But anyone in front of a computer with a Zoom call pen should have better sense. Yeah. This falls under the category of don't mix business mm -hmm. and pleasure. I mean, to say the least, to say the least. <laughs> okay, we let's stay with social media because Rita on Twitter says, masturbation isn't the problem, rather the timing of it is. Please remain professional yeah. during your video conference meetings. Rita, you said it all, but I do, I mean, we have a sex educator on the panel. I have questions too, Cynthia. Is there a sex positive spin to this? Like, is there a thing where, I don't know, maybe I don't find I don't find it stimulating to think about the stress of the upcoming American election. But could this have been he's so stressed out, he's so worried that Trump will win a second term that he needed release, relief? Can we sp I don't know. This is so crazy. I'm going to say that that stretch is a bit much for me, but I will say, obviously, if I was on the call, I would have experienced, this can be, you know, this could feel very invasive, very assaulting, very problematic. Mm -hmm. I, I think you have to respect the experience of the people who are on this call. As a complete outsider, I will say that I do find, like, this is something, along with certain other bodily functions, that is very human. You know, they say, like, statistics will say anywhere between, uh, you know, 80 and 90 percent of the population does engage regularly in this activity, and they say the rest are aligned. I feel like it is a very human thing, a misplaced thing. I, do I just think he deserves to go away and hide for the rest of his life? No. Hopefully he comes out and apologizes. What I do feel like will probably happen is he's going to claim some kind of a sex or porn addiction. And to me, this is like a catch-all phrase Ugh. for men who behave badly to he... blame it on the porn. Oh, I couldn't help God, myself. Mercy. And it's just like, let's stop with that. No, no, okay. no. If you were on course, the call, though. Of course he's going to live this down because he's a man. And don't they always get away with their mess, okay? Right, but there's going to be a part two. Kayla, there, he'll oh, live it down, but he'll have to live it down oh, the second be, part of listen, this. Because he gonna be, yeah. he's going to be back for seconds, okay? Well, <laughs> Jeffrey knew what, we what he was seen, doing. What we haven't seen is the photo, because if it were me and I was on that call, we all would have, or we don't lots of us would have documented what was happening nope. before nope. reporting it. And so somewhere, you that photo was, was floating happening. around. That photo is floating around. Uh, I would not be surprised if that's going to be part two to this chapter, which is the <sighs> release of the photo, blurred with maybe uh, the New Yorker's logo over it. If you're listening out there, don't send that photo around. We don't want to see it. 
I don't want to see Mr. Jeffrey doing his business. What I will tell you is Jeffrey knew very well what was happening. Like you said, Jess, we're nine months into the Zoom game. You know if your camera's on and you know if your camera's off. And the fact that allegedly he had the camera tilted down, oh, baby, Jeffrey knew exactly what he was I, doing. And I you know what? I don't know if he did know exactly oh, what no, he no, was no, no, doing. No. Like, maybe he, he, he was, I know he should clear. have known let's, exactly let's what he was doing. And, but and, and there's Miss, just and, no way that Jeffrey Tubin could have done this. Honey, I just don't you've been it. let in. You have been letting and enlightened into exactly who Jeffrey is and what gets Jeffrey off, okay? And clearly, it was that conversation that was taking place. Now, Jeffrey, you could have waited, because I'm sure our sex expert, Miss Cynthia, could teach you a little one, two, three about suspense and how great <laughs> suspense is in the long run when it comes to the masturbation. You could have waited. You could have waited and had a way better time, but instead, you had to play Boo Boo the Fool and expose yourself to your co workers and now you're gonna try and be all Listen. serious when you get back from work and nobody's gonna be able to take you serious because you were caught literally with your pants down acting a fool and a mess with your lubriderm to the side <laughs> jeffrey what are you doing what are you doing I hear you. I just don't, I'm reserving a little bit of judgment at this moment. It's possible it was his kink. It's possible he did want to get caught. We just don't know enough detail. Yeah, so there's a part of me that is would reserving be able to judgment. Do that? What woman this would guy be has an incredible career. He's well, written for, thing, for though, decades we, on something. Want to there's no way he's going to ruin like, his career a, over a Zoom call. And he's he's a smart enough man to know that this is career ruining. He's reported on, on this kind of stuff for years of other people whose careers have been ruined. There's no way. Listen, you're not at a business meeting, okay? We don't we don't have a little boardroom meeting and some homeboy beside you just whips out his piece and ha and has a time. It's unprofessional, period. You could that that stuff could wait. That stuff could wait. I don't understand why I, I, no one's giving him a bligh. I don't think he deserves a bligh. You are within business hours. Wait until the Zoom call is over. Shout out to Cynthia though for always Fine. trying to be empathetic and waiting for more details. <laughs> Shout out to Cynthia. <laughs> I, that is all. Thank you. Thank you, Lainey. I appreciate that. Should I be transitioning now? I have so much to say. I could talk about this all day, but I will not. Instead, I'm going to transition to...